Casey Anderson's first house energy lets me know right there that she has a hard time identifying with who she is, especially with that Pisces. The Pisces energy is really in a space where they almost feel like they are above everybody else. And no pun attended to Pisces out there, but they almost have this godly essence about them where they feel that they can take over exactly what they want, do what they want, and not suffer the consequences. Another thing that sticks out about Casey Anthony's chart is the fact that she has a Venus in Aries in her first house. This lets me know that she is very much centered in spontaneous energy and aggression when it comes towards her love. The Venus energy with Aries is very, I guess you could say, passionate, where if somebody was going to prevent her from seeking love, being in love, or being with the person that she was in love with at the moment, she would not care. She would basically get rid of that situation because when she is in love, that is what really matters to her the most. I want to talk about one of her major conjunctions and astrological alignments that she has. In her first house with her son in Pisces, she has her son in Pisces squared with her Uranus, also squared with her Mars, and also squared with her Neptune. This lets me know that she is very volatile when it comes to her areas of aggression and she will be impulsive. She will also be very delusional in the fact that her reality state is not necessarily the state that she wants to take in wholly. She will also be very rebellious with her interpersonal space and be very rebellious in the way that she sees her own energy. In fact, if somebody was telling her that this is not a good way for her to live her life, she would probably go directly in the other direction. I feel that growing up, she probably did have some challenges because she is on a very much center of what she wants is what she wants, who she wants to be with is who she wants to be with, how she wants to live is how she wants to live. And in all honesty, nobody is going to stop her. That is the mindset of this alignment. She also has a sun sextiled with Lilith, which lets me know that that dark energy is a little piece of her. It doesn't go away, it doesn't hide, it's there. And even if she did do something that makes her feel shameful and guilty, that Neptune and Uranus energy aligned with her son will basically make her believe that she is telling the truth. She's literally one of those people who can create her own reality and try to convince others to believe it. Follow for part three.